Hey, you down here? Okay, let's turn this monitor off. Okay, so I, uh, I'm having real problems with uh, getting my stereo inputs <clears throat> to show uh, to work. Um, I did my other, well, I did an hour long test and got all sidetracked like I usually do. And uh, I had my Bluetooth, my phone th uh, two going through Bluetooth to the mixer. And I ended up taking it loose because I was afraid. I heard that Bluetooth can interfere with, uh, now I can see where it can interfere with Wi Fi, but uh, I don't see where it would interfere with it. Well, if it's got any kind of, you know, RF signals radio signals, radio frequency signals, uh, can interfere with electronics, sound electronics. Uh, so with it being late setting right in front of the Behringer V amp and plugged into the Behringer mixer, I thought, well, what if that's not some really bad signal? It's actually, you know, playing with the uh, electronics inside of there. So I just turned it off and unplugged it and everything. Made no difference. I switched cables. And I got my two channels back just for, I was just getting ready. I thought, okay, I'll make a video with it and make sure it's working. And then I looked around again and it was gone. It's back to mono. And it doesn't sound right. It sounds, the sound doesn't sound as good as it used, usually does on the SM58. It actually sounds better on the two lapel mics going through the Bluetooth. <coughs> but it, and what's really strange is when you, uh, it in monitor mode I did figure out on that last test if you do a monitor only mute output it mutes the output going to the recording it doesn't mute the output coming out of my speakers though so it's real confusing but this one you get an echo but it will not mess up the recording I guess if I turned it down you might not get why well, I don't hear it through the speaker then it wouldn't be echoing back to through the microphone um, but of course then you can't hear it <clears throat> and uh, I had my headphones hooked up to the other USB sound card, the one I'm recording in with, and uh, it um, um, it was just too fiddly. I had to switch so many things. It was just too hard to. Uh, I knew I would get things all screwed up, um, so I didn't. I unplugged it and. Uh, just plug it into the V amp. Uh, that help, I can plug it into the phone out, headphones on the V amp, and that tells me what's coming out of the V amp, and I can adjust the master. Because for these USB sound cards, I need to turn it down. The master, I just turned, figured out just turning the master down does the job. Because the last time I turned the mixer down and the master a little bit, thinking about you know balance it all out, but I forgot. Uh, it was cutting, and if I wasn't if I wasn't talking loud enough, it was cutting off my speech, and it was it was sounding really weird and bad. So I need to keep. I have the the the, the gain, you know, this gain structure figured out from the mixer to the V amp and to and the compressor. It, you know where it's set, and it's hard to set that V amp. It's you have to press this button and hold, you know, and put you. Hold your finger on your nose and do this and do that. I cannot. I have no clue how to do it anymore. And have to uh, reading the manual is really hard. You know, small letters and all that. And I used to read it. Uh, I think I had a manual on the Windows XP. This thing was made during Windows XP days, and you can hook it up to a computer and and ch and you can. It's really a lot easier for me on the software, but I haven't done that in 10, 15 years because I hadn't really had a machine that I, uh, with the, you, got to have, you have to use a serial port. And the machine, my old machine that I used to have XP on doesn't have XP on it anymore, but I thought, well, I might put it back on there just because it's got a serial port and everything. Or, well, this little laptop, it has a serial port, I think, this old Dell 6000. But anyway, I just haven't ever done that. It was working, everything was fine. But I started noticing, on and off, I would lose, I would be like this, it would be, uh, um, mono, and I thought that's thought that was stereo, you know. And I thought, well, maybe I was just crazy, you know. But I, 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 I've seen it several times now. So um, now I am using a different. The last time I got distortion in the audio, and I swapped. I have two of these sound cards, and um, 
this is the sound cards that I have. My settings are in my way here. Not in the way of the picture, but in my way. Seeing what's going, what, seeing what I'm doing. I've stuck a sticky note on it. Uh, they, I've got another one just like it. Well, they're a little bit different, but uh, I've had them for years. They're okay. They're not fantastic. I wrote a note to myself to tell me what to do. Let's see what that note says. Tell me what was going on. I mean, not what to do. I had that there to kind of line that up. There we go. Maybe I can read that now. The USB sound card just stored on the HP DL380 G7 server. That's what I'm trying to set it up on. Going from the VM to... Uh, I, I wrote it down backwards, but mixer SM58. So it goes, you know, SM58 to the mixer to the VM2. No matter how low you uh, set the uh, input... In the Fedora ALSA, could have turned uh, the master on the VM down, and I didn't think about it. I wrote that later, you know, like when it, when I remembered, like I went to bed, you know, went to bed, remembered what I should have done. But uh, so, but I also thought, well, one of those cards doesn't work good, so I'm going to start with the other one, and I did. And at first, it, well, at first I thought it was fine, and then I realized it's mono. Could be that one of them does act crazy like that. I know I've, one of them doesn't work as good as the other. I don't remember. Actually, the only thing I remember is it seemed like one of them. That's why I swapped because it seemed to me like one of them would distort no matter what you did uh, on on a lot of machines. It, it, I remember it working on one one or two machines pretty good, like XP machines, you know, like old machines. But now I'm thinking I can't just swap them hot. Well, I think I don't think. Uh, I have done. I have unplugged them before, and they. Uh, and then if you plug them back in, they won't work, and you, they won't work again until you uh, unplug them and reboot the machine, your computer, and then uh, plug them back in. So, um, but I think trying the other one. Now I'm thinking trying the other one might be the thing. I think I said that a minute ago. Well, the main cable. Let's see, going from the mixer to the V amp. I swapped it, and it worked for a while. I think I said that a while ago. I don't know if I said I swapped the cable. and uh, But while I was getting ready to do a test video, it quit working again. And I tried to, I've swapped. I tried using different <coughs> straight from the mixer to, uh, to the computer. <coughs> to the computer. I tried using the control room out, but it actually sounded okay. The last time I had, when I had tried it before, it was noisy, but it might have been what I was running it through because <coughs> I was using that other, that uh, Lenovo i5 computer. <coughs> well, I think I might try this other sound card at this lower output volume and see if it's gonna gonna be okay. I am worried about the connector coming. It's actually the input. On not coming out, but the input on the VM that it's a, it's a, a TRS T yeah TRS tip ring sleeve or stereo. In this case, it is a stereo input, um, and uh, it's it's loose, real loose. And uh, I looked up in there with my uh, endoscope, and it. Best I couldn't see very good, but you know it didn't look like anything was broken. But it is loose. But I can move it. A while ago I was moving it with my headphones on, and I didn't hear any noise. So I thought, well. And I've tried moving the cable this way and that, and it doesn't come back. I've I've moved it before and seen it come back. I do remember that uh, several times. I mean, I would just move it. I did, and I thought maybe the cable was either going bad, but I didn't have another one. Actually, I did do have another one, so I'm using it right now. I don't know which one's which now. You know which one's the. I had decided there was probably something wrong with that other cable when it was working, but now it quit working. So, but I can't see any differences. You, 
I almost stopped talking and moved the cable. I was doing doing that while I was talking, so if you heard any noise. But what? Well, yeah. Okay. So if you heard any a bunch of noise, and that would give you me a clue that it's the cable or the uh, connector inside. But uh, a while ago, I did it listening, and I didn't really hear any noise. And uh, and the thing that just really got me uh, thinking, well, the only other idea I've got is this: switching sound cards again, USB sound cards, because I tried the main output straight to the computer and the control room output on the mixer straight to the computer. That should have been giving me a stereo signal. And uh, it didn't make any difference whatsoever. It sounded fine, nice and clean. Um, surprisingly, um, of course I wasn't, you know, full on talking and sometimes I get louder and all that. That's why I want the compressor. And, and of course and the noise gate cuts down the background noise. But uh, but it didn't fix it, so I put it all back to like normal. And so I think I will. I'll try this. I guess I'll have to shut this down to swap sound cards. I may have to reboot the computer. Probably be a good idea anyway. I could reboot. I thought about rebooting the computer and you know with that sound card in it. But I think I'll sh uh, I'll shut. Let's see what would be the best thing. Yeah. So, well, one time I, I unplugged it, and then on this server, once or twice I unplugged it, and when I rebooted it, still wouldn't work. I think I remember that, and uh, I ended up having to like make sure. I don't know. Maybe I put it in there, it didn't work. I rebooted it, and it still didn't work. And I should have took. I think I finally had to take it out and leave it out, and reboot it, and then it worked. So I'll take it out, plug it in, and if it doesn't see this card, then uh, then I'll reboot it. <clears throat> plug take it out and reboot it and all that all right oh I forgot I had that monitor on might have been echoing I think that echoes through the whole recording even when it's turned down low great okay well maybe that's better it sounds okay I've got it at about the I was a little bit too hot before Anyway, I wasn't talking real loud, so it wasn't, you know, distorting or anything, but that's more like what I want right there. All right. I'm not going to do any outs or anything. I'm just going to stop. There's 19 updates available. 